What is job order costing? Well, job order costing is generally the allocation of certain types of expenses to a specific job. Okay, now this includes material, direct labor, direct expenses, and factory overhead. Okay, so what are the steps in allocating these costs to the specific job? Well, to start with, you have to calculate the costs that are applicable to this job. So you try to combine them all together. Now, identifying the individual costs that are incurred as part of a job is extremely difficult. Oftentimes you don't really know the full cost of, of what you're undertaking until long after it's completed. So this makes it very difficult. So companies employ a normal costing approach. And basically what that is, is in when you're allocating things that are difficult and, and generally your materials are direct labor, that's not that difficult. Your, all of your direct expenses, your indirect expenses, like your factory overhead and things like this. That's a little more difficult. So they come up with an overhead rate that they apply to some unit of activity and they calculate what portion of that overhead is going to be allocated to that one unit of whatever that activity is or whatever that, that base, that allocation base as we call it, is right that allocation base is going to bear some percentage or some portion of that total overhead so how do you calculate that well you come up with the overhead rate by uh, combining all the estimated manufacturing expenses that are going to be included there and then you divide it by whatever you identify as your cost base okay so all of those expenses that you divided up into that that you thought were allocable to this type of activity, right? And then you divided it by, you know, uh, an allocation base, how much of that existed throughout the company. It will give you the rate. So to the extent that any one of those base units is present in a job, you can assign a portion of the total overhead or other expenses that's included in those total expenses, right, to each unit present of that base rate, something like um, hours in the factory or um, uh, hours of utility service used or something of that nature would make a great allocation base to assign a certain percentage of cost based upon how many uh, are present, how many units are present, how many hours, for example, are present there. Okay, so in doing so, you would allocate to the job based upon that predetermined rate, the total cost there associated, it, the percentage relevant to that allocation base. And then as part of the process, you need to maintain all of these activities, these base activities that are taking place as part of the job. And you do that on a job sheet. So you would keep that current, maintain it, and continue to revise it throughout, okay? Now, the job order costing approach is extremely useful in numerous scenarios. One, if you're gonna bill clients specifically for a job, you need to keep track of the actual costs that go into that job as closely as possible, particularly if you're gonna use cost plus method of pricing. So there you go. Uh, determining profitability. If you need to look backwards and say, did we make money on this? Well, you need to assign portions of your cost and see how much we made above that. Making data-driven decisions. Managers constantly need information to make the best decision for the company. And then monitoring things like equipment and machine usage. This can be a useful approach because you are allocating the activities to the processes that took place. And say, for example, you're using machine or equipment hours as a base allocation rate. Again, you're going to be able to use that information in decision making. So with all that being said, this is how job order costing works and why it's beneficial in many circumstances.